Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you've been paying much attention, you noticed I've been running the 2.2 wheel on the 1.9 rupture tire. I did a video about comparing the two and it turns out that that is the best combination I've ran so far. I've tested all kinds of sorts of things and this is my go-to setup. It works great everywhere I go and it's what I'm sticking with. So I've had some requests on how to mount the 2.2 on the 1.9. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. It'll make it pretty quick. Uh, I'm using a fresh build, my poise chassis. Uh, you see, I've got the, the ruptures 1.9 tires on the 2.2 wheels. It's in Jora 2.2. So it, it widens out the profile a little bit um, and gives great forward grip, great side to side heel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my GoPro on in a POV view and I'm going to take one of these off and I'm going to take it apart, show you how well it adheres to the top, to the wheel. And then I'm going to remount it and show you what process I use to do it. It seems to work out pretty good. It's really simple. Uh, so hang tight. I'm going to get this GoPro camera on and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so here we go. We'll get this wheel off my brand new poise build. Pretty excited about this thing. We'll set this guy out of the way. Okay, so here we go. We got 2.2 .2 wheel on the 1.9 ruptured tire. So we'll go ahead and tear this down, show you how well it is mounted. So you can, it still holds pretty good even after you're taking the screws out. Just push it out of there. You can see how well it's stuck to the wheel. I've been using this method for a while. It works pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the tire off and show you what I'm working with here. This, this foam is getting a little tore up. So what I've been using for my go-to foam choice when I had the 1.9 wheel is an Enjora dual stage foam with the blue inserts works great works really good so i ran into a problem that this outer is pretty soft especially once it gets broken in so the the center is pretty firm so the problem i ran into is now you've got a 1.9 size inner and you got 2.2 wheel so i printed it out of 95a which is still it's got some sponge to it but not much it's not enough to really do much sponginess at all on uh, a lightweight truck like this it feels almost identical to the foam here so i printed that out of uh, 85 95a so it's a little firm i tried doing an 85a and it's it's and i even put this in there it's a little soft it's like nothing you know so i may experiment in the future with the 85a in a full size foam uh but that's uh, didn't work out so this is what I ended up with. So it turns out it works pretty good. So put that aside. So I'll just turn the tire inside out, put it on like so. And I always vent my tires with one hole right there. There's the hole. So it uh, works really good. So put it on this way. You gotta be careful to stretch it around the foam good so you don't tear the foam. Get it kind of centered on there. And then this is the really the secret to it. I get the top out of a electrical tape package and then I take some bubbles. This is like a kid's, this was a Halloween bubble thing. It's got a little Kit Kat on there. Anyway, I just take some of the bubbles and pour it out into the thing. You can use dish soap and water, same pretty much work the same. So I'll take a Q-tip, put it on there, and I'll put a good good bit around the where the bead goes. I'll go ahead and get it on, a little on the sidewall and then on the inner part. So then take your wheel, your, your outer part, and I'll take and spread it out the best you can there. Kind of push it in. 
you have to work it a little bit then you can pull it out like if it's stuck in a place you keep working with it and it'll eventually find that sweet spot and slide right in right, let me try stretching it again There it goes, slides right in place. So then I'll take it and pull it. Make sure you see the little lip right there. Make sure it's not, the sidewall's not folded under there. Kind of pull at it. Make sure you see that corner and then you're good to go. Then you just repeat the process on the other side. And for whatever reason on the back side, it doesn't cooperate the stretching around one as easy. So you line up the holes somewhat in the ballpark at least and stretch it out pull on it and sometimes when you do this you'll pull on it and it'll stretch and flop right in place so a lot of times most more times than not you gotta work with it and you gotta be careful there it goes when you pull this, pull the sidewall. Don't reach over here and grab the foam because you'll tear the foam. I've done that several times. So then you then you it's still slick enough you can slide it around. Once it dries after several minutes, it'll it'll be stuck really good. So then you do the same thing, repeat the same process and see that corner. All the way around. Then I don't use the drill putting it back together. I'll go ahead and get it started with two of them pretty you know get a little bit of pull down on it And you just go in a star pattern. There you have it. And you can do a little roll in here, but you can see it's got really nice uh, soft edge and firmness in the middle. Got good side to side. One thing I forgot to mention is you need to glue these pieces together. So the 3D printed insert, the foam, I put, I pulled it up, put just a tiny bead of I'll super glue, to super glue the foam to the, to the 3D printed piece. And then on the inner, where the, where the 3D printed piece touches this, I took just a little shoe goo in that corner and rub, and rub as much as you can out with your finger. You don't want to keep it on there. Let it dry really good because you don't want to get the tire shoe goo to the wheel. Um, but that will keep the, if you don't do that, the 3D printed piece is gonna slide some. I know you can probably print it a little different and keep from doing that, but this has worked out fine. You can pull the shoe goo off, no problem. The, the super glue, however, is gonna hold pretty good and that's gonna be stuck to it forever. Um, but that's the combination I've been using. It's working great. And um, let me know if you have any questions. Okay, so there you have it. That's the, how I mount the 2.2 on the 1.9 ruptures that's my setup for the foam and what i like what works great for me what works for you may be a little different i know some people make some 3d printed piece and there's some 3d printed files now um and i haven't experimented with those but i probably will be in the future making my own printed pieces uh, but for now that's it the 2.2 wheel on the 1.9 rupture working great for me and how you like this new setup by the way this is my old setup from the poise chassis, I redid it with all the good parts. Got all Vanquish rare earth axles. I got the Lux transmission. Um, super awesome setup. Still getting it dialed in, but I'm really enjoying it so far. So make sure you like, share, subscribe. Any questions, feel free to ask, and I'll be glad to help to respond. See you next time.